let's take a look at a, an example together. This is the small picture loops program that we did a while ago. So I'm going to run it just to remind you what it does. I have a button for small picture, a button for the picture in rows, a button for random pictures. And if you got this far, you could even do a random picture. We're going to take a look at this program and analyze it for abstractions. Here's our assignment. Now let's take a look at our code. So here's the code. And when we want, when we get started, we're going to come down here to the bottom and see check wherever we have buttons. Whenever we have a button, this is an event, and we're going to have some kind of event handler function. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to fill in the chart. So the first one that we see there is click. The next one that we see is click two. Not very inventive names, are they? Hopefully you have better names than this. I have click three and I have click four. Now this this set draw handler is also an event, so draw is also an event handler function. So I'm going to add that to my list here. We can just um, add more rows as needed. I can look through sometimes um, if I have a start function, it might add in another button. Some of you know remember in our uh, some of our programs we did that. So this isn't the only place to look, but this is the place that we start. And I can look up here and see, is there any place where I'm adding a button or some kind of an input box? For this program, I'm not. Now, if I, any other function, if it's not listed here as an event driven function, it should be a helper function. So let's kind of go through the list. And I have smiley, okay? And I know that that is a helper function. I'm gonna look for when smiley is called, okay? Um, I also have, now I know that clicks, they were all event handler functions, so I'm going to skip through them. And the draw. Now I have draw one, draw rows. I'm going to add those over here. Okay, and let's keep going. We have random color. We have a weight. This one has a lot. So that's pretty cool. I have a lot to choose from then. Um, we also have draw random and draw random image. So I'm going to add these columns that I need. All right. So did I get all of them? Let's see. Then I have that I'm back here to the bottom. So it looks like I listed all of my functions once again. This program has a lot of functions. It has several event handler functions and several helper functions. Now let's see if we can identify where these are called. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to start with my help my event functions and see if they're calling anything. Okay, so my clicks. And the only thing that my clicks really seem to be doing is just changing a level. So not a lot going on there. And smiley doesn't call anything either. Okay, so I'm going to come over here to my draw one function, and it calls smiley, and it's on line 47. Okay, so I want to kind of identify that that it's um, I could say line 47, and it's in the smile, it's in the draw one function. Okay, is it called anywhere else? Well, I can see right here it's also called in line 55. So I'm going to add that line 55, and this is in the draw rows function. Okay, let's keep looking for smiley. Okay, I see it right here in the draw random, and that is line um, 81. And let's see. Um, and that's about all that I see for Smiley. So looks like in three places I called Smiley. All right, good. Let's look for draw one. So where is draw one being called? I see it right there, but where is it being called? Um, right here in draw. Okay, so line 35. In the draw function and is it being called anywhere else I don't think so okay what about draw rows we can see it's right here okay line 37 
also in draw. Random color. I don't know if I, oh, it's just supposed to be C-O-L, okay? I don't really see that here, but I'm going to keep going. We see draw random right here is line. I don't know why my spacing is off, but it's line um, 39. Also in draw and random image is line 41 in draw. So we've kind of covered all the draw things. I've still got weight and I've got draw random. So let's see if we can find those anywhere. Okay, so here's random color. Okay, so that's line 54. And that's in the draw rows function. This is the function itself, and it's not calling anything. It's just getting a random color. Weight is not calling anything, but let's see if we can find it. Okay, so here's random color. Here's a call to random color. Random color is a return function, so it's going to be on this side of the equal sign. So just kind of remember that. A regular function is like smiley, and a return function. Okay, so line 80. And this is in the draw random. Okay. And um, so, so far, and then I see a weight down here. Weight is a regular function. It's line 87 in draw random image. Okay. Did I miss anything? Let's kind of go back and see. It's quite possible that I missed something. Okay, so we filled out this column. Now you might wonder, why did I ask you where do the helper function is being called? Well, when I come down to picking an abstraction that's managing complexity, if I'm using a function more than once, that's a good reason for saying that it's managing complexity. So if I look something here at smiley, I might want to say, I might want to pick the smiley function because it's used three times. So when I say, how does it manage complexity? I could say, well, um, I used it three times, so instead of duplicating the code three times, I could just create a function and reuse it. That'd be a great reason. Um, also here with the random color, you see that I'm using it more than once. Okay. Um, so any of those would be good. If you wanted to say something that's only called once, like these draw ones, draw rows, you can still use it. The reason might just be a little bit different. I could say that I created these functions and it manages complexity because it reduces the size of draw. So I want you to think about this function here, draw. Okay. If I didn't create these functions, how long would this draw function be? I'd have to put all the code for draw one in here, all the code for draw rows. It would be a very long function. So my reasoning, if I picked any of those, would be that it's managing the complexity by making my code shorter and easier to read, more manageable. But this can help you when you are defining and picking an abstraction. So if I wanted to, so if I want to select the smiley function as my abstraction, I can use my snippet, and hopefully you remember how to get to snippet. And I'm just going to take this part of my code. I can include the line numbers if I want to. Put it into my assignment, and then give a little explanation about it. So I put. This function is called three different times in the program. It manages complexity by having the code be reusable. Instead of typing the code three times, I wrote a function and called it three times. It also makes the program easier to read. So some kind of short explanation about how it manages complexity. And you're going to do this for three more programs.